Well, man, that's exciting. Especially even, you know, cause that's one thing when you try to make something budget, something has to, something you, know, has you to can't, but yeah, you can't have the biggest amplifier, the biggest drivers, and then also have the nicest finishes either, you know? So you got to figure out, okay, how, where's our niche? Where do we fit in? And mono price came out swinging hard. So kind of going back to what I mentioned earlier, initially I thought, you know, man, I don't see mono price who's known for inexpensive cables really kind of stepping into the hi-fi realm and y'all came out swinging. I reviewed your, um, a couple of your subwoofers, yep. the big one, actually, uh, some of you guys, I think Tristan mentioned it earlier that, um, I was playing the dual M two fifteen, and I, I just cranked it up and I looked over and I was, I think I was going to bring the camera over to film it or something. <laughs> And I look up and my side surround literally fell off the wall. And fortunately, I had a pair of Martin Logan speakers and a box right underneath it. So it caught it. Um, that would have been a rough day, man. I, I wouldn't have been near as, as happy if that thing would have hit the floor or hit the wall. But but it landed on there. So it didn't damage it. But we had a little fun back and forth. And, you know, I made a video. I'm mad at Mono Price and, and uh, just kind of complaining. And I basically said, you know, I want an apology letter. I want... Um, some duct tape to <laughs> so I can secure my s- surround to the duct wall tape to install want, the speaker. Yeah, I want some earplugs for my neighbors because this thing is so stinking loud, and I forget what else. And it was cool because in about I don't know maybe two weeks later, I get a package from Monoprice, and it has an apology letter, and it had it was so cool, man. So I, I, I really totally playing it. along. Yeah, awesome. it, we had yeah, a good uh, time yeah. with that. That was, that was certainly a lot of fun. It was, you know, and it's cool when you have a, a manufacturer and a brand that, you know, sees the humanity in what we do and the relationships that we do. And, and it's just not a, a, just another number, another customer, another sale, but it's really about relationships. And so I thought that was just really cool and, and showed the humanness in, in your company. And so uh, oh, right. we had, a, we had a lot of fun in that on, a, on the channel, but, but that 215 is a beast. The Even just the single 15, man, lots of yeah. output. Digs really deep. Just Hold on. Didn't you get a output. vacuum too? I think you oh, got a, right. a, vac- yeah. That's yeah. Right. a vacuum to that's clean right. up the, the drywall that was coming down. Yes, yes. That's what I said. Oh, my gosh. It was hilarious. hilarious man. It that's was cool. awesome. So that's how you win game. right now. Nowadays, I think yeah. that's how you win is like through relationships and, and having that that cool relationship with people, you know, they people buy from people they like. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely, man. 